Alright, let's watch this video. Rocky said it was fire. Yeah, that's a good place. I'm gonna play when I play Hello some games. Hello guys, it's Boy Noble from Sweden, and in today's video, we are going to be talking about a real problem in CS:GO, and <laughs> that's that we're running out of cases, and I'm not really sure what can be done. Now, let me explain. If you've opened a case in the recent weeks or months, you may have noticed that cases are kind of expensive. But before we True. get into that, this video was brought to you by yes, Skins Monkey. Bro. They're a trading site for CS. Already during this video. Already so, played. some example of this, for example, the Revolution case, which is a new case, they tend to be quite high in value when they release, because yeah, there's true. not that many, and then drop off under a euro easily, and true. that was the case for the Revolution case as well. It started off being very expensive, and it's going down in price, because more and more are being dropped. It dropped all the way to almost under two euro, but now, all of a sudden, it's back up over three euro, which is very weird. And the second newest case, the recoil case, same thing happening to that one. If we look at the lifetime graph, it looks kind of flat. But if we look at the month graph, you can see Bro. it's going from 0 0.7 euro now all the way up to over 1.1 euro. Percentage-wise, that's a huge increase. The dreams and nightmares, same thing happening to that case. You can see in the month graph, it's going up so much. We also have the CSGO weapon case, the oldest case in the game. You can see in the lifetime graph, it's been going up like crazy. Same with the Bravo case, it's now almost what? 80 euro on the Steam market. That's and insane. some classic cases that have always, or at least for a very long time, been steady at like 0 0.03 cents. We can now see, look here, steady at 0 0.04, 0 0.05, but now in the month graph, it's over what? 3 euro. The Gamma case as well, the Gamma no. case now is over 2 euro. And finally, the Clutch case is now over 1 euro. Now, why does this happen? Yeah, why are cases... Rich. Is all of a sudden getting so extremely expensive. The cheapest case right now is like 50 cents, and that's in euro. So that already puts a huge dent to the amount of money you're gonna spend if you're gonna do a case opening. Like, now you can't anymore just disregard the price of cases. No, True. you have to take that into account. But why? Well, let me explain. So this Reddit thread kind of leads us in the right direction. Uh, it's by the Fiedrich guy, which million? I also talked about in my video on how many cases are being opened every day. Calculations made by CSGO Case Tracker suggests almost 40 million cases were opened in March 2023, so last month. Now, if you watch that video on how many cases- Bro, I'm not even joking. Last uh, CSGO game we played, this guy opened like 100 cases. Like, if you think about that, so like each case now on an average is about $2. And each key is about $2 too. So that's four. He opened $400 worth of cases in one game. And he got dog shit. Cases are being opened Actual every day. Uh, gambling, we saw man. that the average cases of being opened per month is usually way under 40 million. Actually, if I open up my old spreadsheet for this, we can see that per month, the average amount of cases being opened is around 21.8 million. So that's almost double how many cases are usually <laughs> being opened. Now, of course, this has to do with a lot of things. CS2 is one of the huge reasons True. because now people want back into CS. They want skins, they open cases, and they have fun. So more more cases are going to be opened. Which, yeah, that kind of leads to an increase in price. But that's not the only problem. Like Don Hachi tweeted here, aren't there more cases being opened than entering the game? What's gonna happen once there's no cases left and everyone's fighting for the daily case drops? Well, True. that's kind of already happening. A lot of bots are just spinning in deathmatch to get drops and cases because it's free money. But since no I wasn't shots. sure exactly how the drops worked, I asked how do we know how many cases are being dropped? And it started up a discussion, but from my understanding of drops, it seems that you get two drops every week, one of them most likely being a skin, and one of them most likely being a graffiti or a case. Now, if there's only those two drops you can get per week, that means that most likely you're only going to maybe get one case per week of playing. And if you look at Steam charts, you can see that the 24-hour peak was 1.4 million players, and if you then take that times 30 days, you know, that's a lot 
of players, but not every single player is going to be playing once every week, so they won't get all the case drops. And True. yeah, I think Don Hachi is right. I think right now, more cases are being opened than they are being dropped, which is a huge problem. Now, they're referencing CSGO Case Tracker, which is a website set up to track how many cases are being opened. And as you can see here, an estimated 39.5 million cases were unboxed in March 2023. And they even have this nice graph where you can actually see the amount of cases being opened. And since we're now a little bit into April, we can see that in the last 30 days, around 42.3 million cases were opened in the last 30 days. <laughs> That's not good because the number just keeps going up. And as you can see by the cases, the orange ones are discontinued, the green ones are confirmed rare drops, and the blue ones are actively dropping. And obviously, most of the blue ones are going to be opened along with the clutch case because that's the same gloves as in the revolution case. But you can see less and less of these older cases are being opened because of course they're getting more expensive because Damn. they are being opened but they're I not dropping. Now cases, the question man. is what's going to happen with CSGO cases? Because in this pace it seems like we are eventually going to run out of cases and they're just going to be like infinitely expensive. Cases are always going to be dropping at least from the active drops because people are going to be playing the game. But now it seems that they're going to get more and more expensive because the demand for it is being larger than the supply. And if you know, like, economics, that's not good for the price because the price is going to go up. Now, All right, two, one of two things are going to happen. Oh, I hit my mic and I was in it. One of two things are going to happen. S uh, Valve are going to release, uh, make it easier for you to get cases or, like, you know... Probably not gonna happen because Valve really don't give a fuck and it's more money for them. If one case costs even more money, Valve adds a tax onto the case, easy money for them. Or cases just become proper rare. And if you get a case drop, it's like $5 easy, bang. But then all skin prices go up. So every skin on CS is just gonna be mad expensive to get. Everything is just going to be, the market is going to be ridiculous. Like at this point, if you own a skin, you're rich, easy. But uh, I might have to start investing, low key. I might have to start investing. But I don't know if I should invest in cases or skins like knives and stuff. Maybe we'll see. This is a real problem, and I'm sure Valve has some grand master Gloves. plan of how to save it, but I'm not sure how, because what can they do? They can maybe... The, the thing is, I don't think gloves uh, sell as much as um, as knives do. Let's, let's look at this. See, uh, skinport.com. Uh, let's see. Market. So if I go to gloves... Let's look at all the no gloves here. Every glove is over 300. Uh, let's see. Let's go to uh, cheapest first. All right, these are the trash gloves, trash gloves, very ugly gloves. Let's set the minimum to 180. All right, let's see. Okay, so the marble fade gloves are oh, these are battle scarred though. Those are kind of nice though, actually, low key. All right, let's look at this black tie. Sixty dollar gloves. Wait, <laughs> my favorite diamond is streaming. Okay, Achilles. Okay, buddy. These are kind of nice, decent, kind of battle, kind of scuffed though. But let's look at the price over the last month. The price has been pretty much steady. Like. You know, around 150, and now the last one that sold was for 170. So that's like a 20 pound increase. Now, if I look at a knife, let's look at all knives, uh, setting a minimum again to like 180. Boom, say cheapest first. Okay, so now let's look at this. Uh, gut knife, you know, gut knife ain't that good. You know, uh, Crimson Web, decent. Look at the insane price difference. It was 118. Is this where you buy your shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 118 uh, at the beginning of the year. Now it sells for 172. 
that is an insane price difference and this is only on this website like if you went to um on on steam and bought it bro the price is even higher even higher bro so i don't know i think i think i think it's like this is better than investing in stocks like one sold for at the at 31st of january for 96 dollars now selling for 172 easy easy when i bought my knife I, th I don't know if i mentioned this i had a uh flip knife tiger i had a flip knife tiger tooth what no i'm so pissed i'm so pissed bro i bought mine for i want to say two 200 around 200 wait i can look actually uh transactions uh second page there's some 224 look right here purchased flip knife tiger tooth for 224 dollars right now it's worth now it's worth 464 people are uh, putting them up for 500 600 almost 700 dollars and people will buy it I, i'm not even i'm not even joking you bro people will buy it because that's all that's on the market and if you go into the steam market right now they're even more like on steam no cap is there a way to check steam market but yeah bro like that's insane I low-key wish I could like look at the price difference here. This is still this year, 240. Two and now holy. I low-key wish I kept it. I had a flip knife Doppler too, which I didn't spend that much on. And now the price, oh my god, bruh. Honestly, I would say invest in a in a skin. Did I remember gloves being mad expensive? I had the Moto gloves mint and they were 600. 600? Back when you had it? Oh my. I'm not, I don't think I've seen those gloves. Yeah. Well, the price is kind of all over. 217, 300, 400, 800, you know. Yeah, low key investing in some gloves might not be a bad idea. But you need some like decent ones though. And the price will go up. I do like the marble fade though. They do look kind of nice. But what? I'm not buying no battle scarred gloves, man. The battle scarred ones are cheap though. Anyway, let's uh, resume this video increase a third drop every week which were, is guaranteed to be a case they could maybe make normally what are you doing to your fingers man jeez this is more commonly dropped or they could simply release more cases Hold on, what did commonly you say? dropped or they could seem of how to save it but i'm not sure how because what can they do they can maybe increase a third drop every week which were, is guaranteed to be a case they could maybe make cases more commonly dropped yeah, or they could simply release more cases in the style of operations where you basically buy the cases for the operation stars and they don't really count towards this weekly drop now i'm not saying that they're going to do any of that they might just be valve themselves and you know what they could do which might actually be a good idea what he just said operations so you know how you buy like a battle pass on fortnite and then wait didn't cs have something like that where like you had a battle pass kind of thing i don't know if it was i might be getting it mixed up but yeah if they had like a battle pass um for cs Kind of like how they have it on Fortnite or like the Rocket Pass on Rocket League. If they had the CS2 pass where like you get a drop, you get skins and stuff like that, like every time you level up, they would make dumb money. They might introduce something like that, which might kind of balance out the uh, market, might do that.
let everything just happen and then prices of cases are going to be going up eventually and it won't be worth really print. opening many cases at all other than the ones actively dropping but yeah if uh, i had case investments i'm not sure if i would be selling now because what it looks like all the way up until summer and probably after that when cs2 releases the hype if for the game is going to be insane and people are just going to keep opening cases people are going to keep coming back to csgo to play and True. it seems like there's no stopping the amount of cases being opened and it's not slowing down rather as you can see it's picking up so yeah i'm at least very happy because i've invested in some cases i haven't bought like insane amounts some people bought thousands and thousands of cases when they were only three cents each me myself i've only bought a few shattered webs and my most successful case investment was probably the bravo case because i bought these when they were around 14 euro each and as you can see See, now on the market, they're like 80 euros, which is insane. And technically, these are still dropping. Yes, they are very rare, and getting a Bravo case drop is extremely uncommon, but technically, they're still not discontinued. So, what does this mean for other cases? They, it means they might go to the moon. I don't know. But if I had a lot of cases now, I'd be very happy. And also, that's a tip for you guys. If you have any other accounts that have gotten drops in the past, like Smurf accounts that you played on, you should should check them because some of these cases are really expensive like chroma cases are now over three euro i have a friend who has a smurf account who checked his account and he apparently had 1500 euro worth of cases in his what? unknown smurf account which he thought what? he had no skins or any value check on. so uh, yeah that was my quick rant about the big looming issue we have with cs and cases that we are sooner than later most likely going to run out of cases which, uh, yeah, what does that mean for my case opening videos? I don't know. Anyways, thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked it. And uh, I hope you check your uh, Smurf accounts. And I hope that you have hundreds of very expensive cases. Now, I'm going to go cry because I didn't buy these cases when they were literally $0.03 on the market. Yeah, yeet. And my... Good mouse, by the way. My most successful and my most... Ex and my most success... And my... I'm oh no. Oh no. Relatable. I do the same. That's insane, though. We actually gotta start stacking, bro. No okay. cap. We gotta start stacking our cases. Uh, it's a big problem for case openers, but a big opportunity for players who can sell their weekly drops. True. Normally, I open so many uh, cases that you just crash the market low key. I don't think CF devs expect people to treat cases like stocks. There's no doubt more cases out there. Uh, demand and hoarding is making the prices explode. True. It hurts me knowing how many cases I've sold for $3. True, bruh. So sad. I mean, uh, three cents. That's actually so sad. So. Oh.